You know, back when I was a kiddo, I was really into Pokemon cards for a long time. In fact, it was the thing that got me into Pokemon in the first place because people around my elementary school were trading Pokemon cards around as a matter of fact. So I was into it for a really long time, but I eventually had to drop it, not because I wasn't interested in it anymore, but because I needed to be kind to my wallet, you know? <laughs> I figured may as well only keep like one expensive hobby, video games or cards. So I figured video games would be the better option there. So I stopped playing with Pokemon cards around junior high-ish, something like that. My last set that I ever played was Plasma Freeze. That's what this mat is actually from. That's why Sylveon isn't on this mat. Some people have asked me, on layouts like this before. Why there's no Sylveon on my Eevee mat. That's why Sylveon didn't exist at the time. By the time this mat was made at a Plasma Freeze event, that was like the last thing that I, that I was a part of. And as a kiddo, one of the things that I kind of always wanted to do was to start a YouTube channel and open Pokemon cards. That was one of the things that I had in my head of like, that would be fun to do as a kiddo, wouldn't it? And like, that's not what this channel is about. This channel is about, like, playthroughs and video essays. So, this may well be the one time that something like this happens. But I recently got a package in the mail from that mad lad ya boy Guzma, who you can find in the description below. He has a YouTube channel of his own. That sent me a package with a whole bunch of freaking crazy cool stuff. Like, the Time Gear necklace that I'm wearing right now is from that same package. Or like, look at this, it's a freaking Time Gear to coaster. Isn't that like the coolest thing? There's a whole bunch of cool stuff there. If you want to see that dedicated video, you can find that in the description below too. But one of the things that was in there was a tin of Pokemon cards of this set called Shining Fates. And uh, it's because I've talked on stream before about how I've thought about maybe one day I'll just pick up some Pokemon cards just to open just once, just for the funsies of it, just to indulge that childhood freaking thing Bob of always wanting to do that and then there it's done once you know so now it seems like we have the opportunity to do so because that freaking mad lad guzma has taken it upon himself to send me a freaking tin of shannon fates here which i hear is supposed to be like a really good set from what i hear so yeah, I figured for a whole one singular day, I would be a Pokemon TCG YouTuber. Isn't that crazy? Look, this is what the channel's about for one day. And that's it. And probably never again. Could, could it happen again? Maybe? And if there's enough interest in it, I guess. But probably not. I'm going to say a 90% chance. Probably not. But hey, uh, let's have fun with it today, I suppose. So... How do I get started on this? It seems like there's a terrible thing here. Hope you enjoy seeing parts of my desk here. My whole evolution mat that's supposed to be a TCG play mat that I just use as a, as a mouse pad here. Also, a couple notes. One, my light is brighter than it normally is to help illuminate this on the, on the desk. So my face might be a little bit more lit today. It's lit, bruh. And uh, another note is I knew that when it comes to opening things like Pokemon cards, it's always good to have sleeves. So I looked around my office here being like, do I still have any sleeves from back then? I don't. I found these, which are like the heavier duty or things that you slide a sleeve into for like more protection, but I didn't have any sleeves. And I tried finding clear plastic sleeves around and I couldn't find any anywhere. Like, or, which sounds really weird because they should just be all over the place and super easy to find But I couldn't find any clear plastic sleeves It's like the universe just decided to stop selling clear plastic sleeves just when I had to go have a look So I picked up these instead. These are not clear plastic sleeves. They have a, they have a Pikachu design on the back But it's whatever I guess or something. So these these are the sleeves that I have just as a heads up I guess so let's have a look see what we have in here So this is supposed to have apparently six packs in it in addition to what- where do I, I put that there? <laughs> Gosh, I've never done something like this, so like, well, technically I have. Technically I have as a kiddo. You can technically still find, like, a YouTube channel I started way, way, way back that was like a brief Pokemon TCG thing. I'm never gonna share what its username is. I can't even delete the channel because I don't remember the- I don't remember the password to it. <laughs> you don't need to worry yourself about that, though. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. 
I know that a lot of TCG channels will like show off the code card when they get it just because like I've been into the TCG before and the TCG online before and there's a chance we might do it on the channel maybe one day I might just hold on to the code card so that I have some code cards handy for if the day if the day comes that I do do the TCG online stuff so I'm just gonna put them back here and such so that is very that is very shiny and bright, and I have not had a bright and shiny. Can it focus, please, baby? No. Focus. Focus, camera. Please, I believe in you. It doesn't want to focus. It does not want to focus. Maybe back a little bit. Focus. Camera, please. I'm relying on you. Never mind. Never mind. You don't get to see it. You don't get to see it. You are not deemed worthy by the camera gods, I guess. Let's just have the sleeves here, I suppose. But yeah, like I was saying, I have not had a bright and shiny Pokemon. How does this open? Oh, other way. Other way it opens. I have not had a bright and shiny Pokemon card in a very long time. Does the condition look pretty already? A little bit scratched on the side, but it's mostly okay. Wow. Get into the thing. Again, I wanted some clear plastic sleeves, but this'll this'll have to do, I suppose. This will have to do, I suppose. I can show the last big Pokemon card that I got, actually. The most valuable Pokemon card I ever pulled as a kiddo. I sold off a lot of my Pokemon cards back when, but I kept the most valuable one that I ever pulled, which was the shiny Lugia here, which I don't even remember the name of the set that it was from. It does not want to focus today, does it? Maybe the lights up there, like the green lights are messing with it or something like that. But I, I've kept this one on my shelf, and I hear that this set here is supposed to be all about shiny Pokemon. So hey, look, two shiny Pokemon cards that I have now. Whoa. <laughs> Anyway, let's see here. It's supposed to be six packs. One, two, three, four. I shouldn't have stacked them this way. I need to move it now. Four, five, six. It has been freaking since generation five, since I last held a pack of Pokemon cards to open and such. So it has been a long time. So I've never opened Gen 8 Pokemon cards, never opened Gen 7 Pokemon cards, never opened Gen 6 Pokemon cards. Last time was Generation 5. Looks like we have two of the Corviknight ones, two of the uh, Toxtricity ones. I have a- that's a shiny that I have in my Pokemon Shield playthrough for anybody that's seen that. And we have a shiny Charizard. So I hear that like the pull rates of these are supposed to be pretty decent because there's a lot of shiny Pokemon in the set from what I hear. Let's just- should I just do them in the order that they were in the thing? What, how do you open these things well again? Like, I did some research before doing this, okay? <laughs> For like, good ways to open them and the card trick. Apparently it's like four from the back and to the front and such. Um, and I see people just opening them like, oh, no, I'm so nervous. How do they do it? How? I'm so confused. I literally cannot open it for the life of me. I have scissors, I can use, oh wait. It's peeling a little bit. This is probably not how, like, anybody else on YouTube opens these things, right? Dang it, look, the front is still tearing anyway, whatever. But it's open, sort of. Oh, crap. I completely screwed it all up. Can I just slide them out? Crap! No! Aha! Yes! Freaking finally. Let's see here. All right, let's see. So the trick is apparently one, two, three, four to the front. And then that brings like the energy to the front from what I hear. Should I show them that way? Because that's the camera and I gotta show it like this. I gotta like lean into my microphone to do this. So let's see here. Energy, we got a Tropius. I have to read this upside down. I could always uh, face it towards me and just flip the camera view around. It's not a bad idea actually. Okay, never mind. It's a bad idea. Everything is backwards now. <laughs> Fine, here, let's have a close look together and I'll be reading him upside down. So good old Tropius, Gym Trainer, Luxio, Morpeko, Spinarak, Buizel. It's hella cute, isn't it? We got Raul. I love Raul. I love my Raul. We got freaking Trapinch. We have. Is that. Wait, is that a shiny already? Gosh darn, it's hard to tell upside down. So I guess the one that would normally be the reverse hollow is Galarian Berserker. And then we have Manaphy as the rare in that one. So the first one that we've opened, RA seems to be, I believe, a shiny. Why does my camera not focus? Ah why? Actually, why? I don't know. Will this camera focus? Will this one focus? Oh, 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 this one focuses. 
these aren't the exact same camera. They're like slightly different models, but like barely. Why is this one not? Oh, oh, we are the chosen ones finally. Okay, let's see here. Let's grab a sleeve. Make that three shinies now in my possession. Go in the thing. Three. All right, let's see here. Let's just have the shiny collection over here. Meanwhile, there's a Lugia from however many years ago. Here, let's just put the packs here. Have like energy and loose leaf and stuff on the side. Can you even, there, you can see like a little smidge of the energy. This was never meant to be like a setup for a Pokemon TCG kind of thing. All right, second pack. How do I even, I'll figure it out. Oh, by the way, since this tin was sent by Guzma, if this is a really good tin or a really bad tin, I'm looking at you, Guzma. It's totally all your fault or something. Dang, I'm tearing the thing. Ah! Wait, but it should be... I'm trying my best here, I promise. Okay, there we go. There's gotta be a better way to do this. All right, let's see here. So one, two, three, four to the front like that. And we have uh, green energy. <laughs> I promise I did not see that before. I'm a freaking prophet. Okay, let's see here. Oh, this freaking ball guy. Search your deck for up to three different item cards. Have the word ball in their name. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. I love him. Focus, please. No, it doesn't want to focus. The The camera gods will only bless us with focus during a, during a shiny, but I love him though. All right, so there's ball guy. Team yell towel. You what now? We have thwacky. Thwack. Get freaking thwacked, good old tootle, good old lady. Oh, that's, that's so cute. I love the little swimming Eevee. Oh, that's so cute. Do you know what would be even cuter? If it could focus. But uh, but that's neither here nor there. Good old horsey, cacnea, shinx. All right, reverse hollow is Yanma. And then finally, the rare is uh, freaking boss's orders. That's a Lysander. That was from generation six. Is he, what he's the evil team leader of. Search one of your opponent's bench, or switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon, huh? Well, that pack kind of sucked. Big unfortunate Good old, good old Lysander. I never understood his motivations. I don't know if it was properly explained in gen six. Wait. Well, Big sad. All right, where I put my things right here. Next, we have the Charatard. We have the Charatard. That one's gotta be good, right? Because I mean, to be fair, when it comes to Pokemon, Game Freak does basically just have it be like Charizard. That equals good. That equals quality. Why do you think Charizard has gotten so much love over the last several years? How do I open this? There, I'm opening it. I swear these packs are like adult proofed or something is what it feels like. Come on, come on. I just realized I should probably turn these like towards the uh towards the camera, huh? <laughs> I love how we just have Lugia there. That's from a completely different set from however long ago, but it's being added to the shiny collection. Come on out, please. Wow, finally, geez. Alright, pack number three. Numero tres. Let's see here. So the trick is apparently one, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war, and then the energy is this time is gonna be blue. Ah, oh, black is close to blue anyway. It's just like a really dark blue. All right, we have good old, we have good old dark tricks. It's hard to read upside down. We have rusted, oh, rusted shield for good old uh, Zamazenta ball guy. I love him. Snob! Yes! <laughs> Video can end now, except it won't. Uh, we have good old Grookey. We have Spinarak. We have Shinx. We have, whoops, I flipped a little bit early there. We have Horsey and Shinx. We have a Yavoltal. Whoa, is this a... And we have Decide UI for the rare. Is this a special thing? It's like colored interestingly. I might have to Google it. Why doesn't it focus? I'm putting it into a sleeve. There we go, look, it focused, come on. It was focused for a hot second. For just a brief moment there. Whatever, screw it, I'm using this camera. I'm using this camera, this one likes to focus a little bit better. Look how shiny it is. Does it focus? Oh, there we go. Look at that. My light is like right behind there, so it's a little bit weird and stuff. You can see like a single dog hair off the side. Wow. Um, interesting. I'm, I need to Google what this is. So apparently it seems like that may be even rarer than a shiny because there's like a hundred some shinies in this set. 
but there's only three of these quote-unquote amazing Pokemon, being Yveltal, Kyogre, and Reshiram, and we just got one of them. Jeez. All right, well, we're three packs in, three packs to go. One shiny Pokemon, one amazing Pokemon. Three more to go here. This one's the freaking shiny drag whatever. Why am I forgetting the name? I have one of these in my team in Shield. How am I forgetting your name? You evolve from Dreepy and evolve from Drake Lock or Drake Cloak or whatever. How do I open you? Why am I forgetting your name? You're literally part of my team in Shield version. I don't know why I'm forgetting your name. I have a shiny in my team in Shield version and sort of have my shiny decide why Shield is my shiny. Uh, It's got to come to me right now. It's my shiny. I can't believe this. I'm gonna... I'm gonna find out right after this recording is done, and I'm gonna be mad at myself that I forgot. I, I had them for a second there! Woo! One, two, three, four, and this time it is going to be Psychic! No, this time it's blue! I just predicted a little bit late was all. Yeah, when I said blue the last time, I actually meant blue now, I guess. Alright, good old Tropius, Jim Trenur. Good old Flotzel. We have Nicket. We have Rulet. We have Tarpink. We have Boozle. We have Coughing. <laughs> Someone's gonna get mad at me, not realizing that I'm purposefully butchering all the names. Then we have another shiny being Sincino this time. I, I actually think that's how that's called. And then we have Celebi. Celebi and Manaphy. They are hella cute though. All right, let me find a sleeve for Sensino here. <laughs> I should really get some like clear sleeves at some point. Like, again, it probably doesn't matter that much because this is probably going to be the only time we ever open Pokemon cards on this channel. Like I mentioned before, it's possible it could happen again. Like if it's something that people really want to see or something like that. But again, it's not the main thing we do on this channel. The main reason we're doing it right now is for fun and because that mad lad Guzma sent me Pokemon cards. Come on, focus, focus. Ah, focus! Oh, there we go. Let's discard a card from your hand in order to use this ability. Once during your turn, you may draw two cards. Wow, it's so shiny. How many shinies are we at now? Uh, so we're at like three from the, uh, from four packs in this set at least. We're at four if you count my thing from however long ago this Lugia is, but uh... All right, we're on to the second last pack. If I can open it. You know, a decent bit of this whole recording is a lot that you don't get to see of just cutting out me struggling to open these packs, which is kind of sad. I kind of tore the top a bit, but I am generally getting better. So now if I just grab the cards, Patrick, put your hand on the lid. The lid. Yes, Patrick, you put your hand on the lid. Good job. Again, when it comes to those code cards, I know a lot of YouTubers usually give them away. I'm... I might, if we ever do the Pokemon TCG online on this channel, I can always use them. I could always ask like my little cousins if they want to use them. I'm sure they might be interested. And this time it's going to be Psychic. Not Steel. Whatever. Whatever. No, stop. It's resting on my cord there. All right, let's see here. Should I butcher some more names? Um, Flitzel, Team Yule, Tool, Tropius, Yanmu, Morpico, Kofig. Glossifle that evolves into that freaking uh, Kekdia. We have another freaking uh, what? I just pulled it up on the side there, like the freaking card list for uh for this set. And apparently, there's like a hundred plus shinies, and there's only three amazing ones from what I can tell. Reshiram, Kyogre, and Yavoltal, and we've gotten two of them in six packs. And finally, Manaphy. I don't care about that. What the hell, dude? What is this? Look at that color. What? Maybe like this. Focus. Focus, please. Please. I beg of thee to focus. Please. Ah! Come on. There we go. No. Screw it. I'm using, uh, I'm using the other camera. I'm using the other one here. Look at the color on that. Like, again, you can see my, like, my light there that I use. But look at the color on that. Okay, I need to rearrange here. A little bit so we've gotten two amazing Pokemon apparently and there's three in this set what the hell if the last one is the third one of Reshiram I'm actually going to freaking lose my mind and uh, I don't know 
fly over to where Guzma lives and freaking shake him. Be like, what the hell was it this thing you sent me? Mark my words. I'm a, I'm a do that. Hi, silly doggy. Have you come to see me? Come here. Come here. It looks like my silly dog has come to see me. Hi. Hi. You like my bazillion binders there, by the way? That's what happens when I work from home. Hi, silly doggy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? All right, the final one is another shiny Corviknight. And it's the moment of truth. The moment of truth. Ah, it's almost the moment of truth. Come on. What is this? The moment of truth is nigh upon us and it is here, your salvation, your moment of truth. All right, one, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war to the front like that. And then green. No, it's psychic now. Okay, uh, let's see here. So let's put the put the psychic there. All right, our final pack, the moment of truth. Team Yell Towel, Rotom. The way of freaking a rusted shield, but still no rusted sword. Shinx, Grookey, Trapinch, Yanma, Coughing. And then this time our reverse hollow is another Trapinch. And then finally, whoa! What have we here? We have Ditto VMAX. I guess that's the new freaking big thing where Bob since I see VMAX on there too. My doggy is still coming up to me and being all cute and such. From what I believe, the minor things I know about modern TCG though, I think that it's not too crazy because I think that there's like a couple rarities higher and in this set, there's probably like a shiny version as well. So it's probably not too crazy, but hey, it's still a thing in the, in the final pack here. Okay, so in total from this one tin, the shiny Lugia doesn't count. That's from freaking 3,000 years ago. But I wanted to put here with the other shinies because it's, you know, another shiny. So in total, there's like the shiny that came with it. And we got two shinies from hits in the in the actual packs. Then we have a uh, VMAX thing where Bob and we have two amazing Pokemon, which are probably rarer than shinies anyway. You want up on the couch? I guess my doggy wound up on the couch. <laughs> no, it's funny. I pulled out these like heavier protectors and I didn't even use them. I might put some in there later is what I may do. But uh, so yeah, that's what was in our shining fates tin here. That was sent to me by our by our friendo down in the United States of Amerigo Vespucci. So yeah, once again, big thanks to Guzma for sending this to me in the first place, along with a bazillion other cool goodies and such that was really cool it really helped uh <laughs> pick me up during some stressful times you crazy mad lad so thank you so much and everybody watching this check out guzma's channel in the description below for being uh, a crazy generous mad lad and also just for making some pretty fun and enjoyable kind of stuff so once again will we ever open pokemon cards on the channel again maybe it's not impossible Probably not very likely though, because again, the only main reason that we did this was these were sent to me anyway. So I was like, hey, let, let's do the thing that I kind of wanted to do as a kiddo. And I'm gonna be honest, that was actually pretty fun. That was actually pretty fun. I quite, <laughs> I quite enjoyed that. I hope you did too. Hey, silly doggy. But yeah, if it does ever happen again, it might not be for another 3000 years, but, <laughs> but we'll see. We shall, we shall certainly see what comes of it. But yeah, so once again, big thanks and shout out to Guzma for being a generous mad lad. And also, big thanks to you all for tuning in to this kind of wacky stuff that's so different from the things I normally do. Like, it already flabbergasts me so much than anybody would spend time here over like any other channel on YouTube that they could be spending their time on right now or any other Twitch stream or whatever. No, in this moment you're here and that is so meaningful to me. Like, that is so cool. So genuinely, thank you so much for helping make stuff like this possible and <laughs> tuning into weird stuff that has never before been done on this channel when I'm just doing this to have fun. So I hope it's something that you had fun with as well. With that, I actually need to head off to university now, get to my get to my classes, one of which actually has a midterm today. So <laughs> wish me luck with that, I suppose. And yeah, so until next time, thanks for tuning in and take care all and see ya. I can't words a lot of days, it feels like. Rain continue. When did that happen? Was I not paying attention? Because you got a cadab on the haters. No. What the heck?
the sandstorm rages what is going on it was just raining now it's sandstorming what did this happen what is going on the sunlight is strong what is happening hail continues to fall 